Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back here today for another game review. And today, I'm very excited to check out Deadpool vs. the World from USAopoly. This is for 3 plus players, ages 17 plus. This is an adult party game, be forewarned. And it'll take you, I don't know, 15 to 30 minutes. It really depends on how many players you have in the game. And in Deadpool vs. the World, you are going to have a picture of Deadpool doing something incredibly random because, you know, that's kind of Deadpool's thing. You are going to have these caption cards right here, which will have fill in the blank spots on them. You are going to fill in those blanks, trying to create either correct or humorous answers in order to appease a judge and get points. It sounds very similar to a lot of other adult party games out there, but this one's got Deadpool, so it's got to be good right let's open it up i'll tell you what i think Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Deadpool vs. the World. So first and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule sheet. One page, double-sided, full color, full of pictures, illustrations, examples. Very well done. Also incredibly simple game, so I can teach you how to play right now. So in Deadpool vs. the World, each round, one person is going to be a judge. And they're going to flip over one of these Deadpool cards, which will have a random picture of Deadpool in some sort of scenario. Uh, so he's going to put that out, or she, they're going to put it out in the center, and then they are going to describe it, or just put it out there for everyone to see. Now everyone else at the table is going to have five of these cards in your hand. And these cards are very interesting because they are going to have a caption with a blank in it like so. So you can see that part right there is a blank. And what they're going to do is they're going to pick one of their cards. They are going to fill in the caption with a dry erase marker, gently dry it off. Well, I guess you can aggressively dry it off, then gently set it down for the other person to eventually look at it. Once everyone has placed their card in front of this person, everyone's going to draw back up to five cards. The person who is the judge is going to kind of riffle shuffle these very carefully, like so. I don't think that's a riffle shuffle at all. Read them out loud. Pick their favorite. That person is going to get awarded a point, a.k.a. the card, and the first person to get to five cards will be the winner of the game. Very straightforward game. Let me show you how it works. So, Let's just say that our picture is this one right here. So it's Deadpool about to step on a baby cow, like a tiny little baby cow or something while grabbing his head. So very odd caption here. I'll grab a couple caption cards. Uh, ba -doo 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 -doo. Uh, so let's see. Who wants to play blank? Hail my blank. Flushing blank out of the sewer. Do you smell that? Is that, um, I don't know, spoiled milk. So this would probably be a pretty lame answer, but hey, it's off the top of my head. So someone put that, so he puts it right there, draw back up a card, let's see. The best thing about friends is blank. Blank dreams are made of these. Uh, available for, oh, let's see, fetish cow dreams. So I go with cow fetish dreams. Oh, that one actually is pretty solid. I feel like that one might have a shot to win. So we got Cow Fetish Dreams. Uh, blank, available for a limited time. My blank meter is off the charts. Uh, my lactose intolerant meter? Sure. Kind of makes sense. As long as you don't think about it too much. Lactose intolerant meter. So everybody put their stuff right down there like so. And you do get six of these markers, by the way. I had no issues with the markers, so that's always nice. They have the little cap at the end. Only the issue that I would is they don't have anything to erase anything, but I should be talking about the more than the pros and cons. So this person's going to mix them up. They'll say, all right, here's what we got. Here's the picture right here. Let's take a look. So my my lactose intolerant meter is off the chart. <laughs> Do you smell that? Is that spoiled milk? Uh, cow fetish dreams are made of these. They pick which one is their favorite, and they say, ah, this one's my favorite. And the person's like, ah, it's me. And they get a card, and they put the card in front of them. And then the person to the left becomes the judge. You wash, rinse, wash, and repeat until someone has five of the WTF cards in front of them, at which point they will be the winner of Deadpool versus the world. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. All right, Deadpool versus the world from USAopoly. What are my final thoughts? Let's go for the pros, let's go for the cons. First, on the con side, it's an adult party game. If you don't like adult party games, this one will not be for you. Also, this one has a very similar feel to a lot of other adult party games. And if you have a whole bunch of other adult party games that feel similar, do you really need another one? That's a your mileage may vary kind of thing. Also, I feel like some people are going to get tired of the Deadpool theme. If you're not a huge fan of Deadpool, then this obviously probably isn't going to appeal to you. And while I 
do think this is a very humorous game with the right crowd, it can go over flat if you do not have creative people. That's one of the biggest cons that I have in this game. This is going to be somewhat of a niche game because A, if you don't like Deadpool, probably not going to be for you, but B, more importantly, you need to be creative because it's not like your typical Cards Against Humanity where it's like, hey, I don't have to think at all. I just have to put out one of these cards and hope it's funny. No, you actually have to think of something funny to put on those cards. Now, you get five cards in your hands and normally you know, you're going to be able to think of something, but there definitely will be rounds where it's like, eh, I just threw this card away because I, I couldn't think of anything to make it funny. And if you have too many of those rounds, the game can definitely lose some of its luster as you're progressing. So that is something that you need to know. Any other cons that I have for the game? You know, I kind of wish that there were some other Marvel characters in here, maybe in the future, but I doubt it because, you know, Deadpool, this is kind of his shtick. I don't really expect to see Doctor Strange in here or Iron Man or anything like that. But, moving on to the pros, Deadpool vs. the World is fun. We played it. We laughed. A lot. We had fun. We played it again. We laughed. A lot. Now, the people I was playing with, I assumed it was going to go over well because they're pretty creative for the most part. But we did have some people in that crowd who were very not creative and you know what the scores definitely were skewed it was like five to five to three to zero to zero to zero and it's if you're a naturally funny person or a naturally creative or maybe if you're just quicker witted than other people you're going to have an advantage in this game but that being said if you know people like that especially if they like deadpool this is a really fun game I'm not keeping this game myself, but I'm giving it to one of my best friends because he absolutely loved this game and he loves Deadpool. And I know most likely if I did keep it, I'd probably play it with him. But that being said, if he did not want it so much, I probably would keep this game because it was a good deal of fun. Uh, I like how the dry erase system works. That's another comment I have. They can be somewhat difficult to dry off uh, unless you have a paper towel. Like a paper towel worked magnificently. Like your finger does not work at all. A wet finger just smushes it. So you need to have a paper towel. It would have been nice if it came with a cloth. Minor nitpick, but still something that I didn't want to mention. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Do you like Deadpool? Do you like adult party games where you have to fill in blanks and actually have to think creatively instead of just putting out a card and hoping it's funny? If you do, this is the game for you. If not, no. Uh, that being said, any other cons? You know, I'm off on the pro show. I really be talking about cons. I wish there were a couple more of these cards. There's a whole bunch of captions and not as much as these. But still, you don't want a 50-50 balance. That's really all I got. Simple rules. Simple game. It's funny. If you like Deadpool, check it out. If you don't, go with another dirty adult party game that isn't themed to Deadpool. But there you go. That is Deadpool vs. The World from USA Opoly. One I had a good deal of fun with. And I can recommend if it sounds like it might be something you would enjoy. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know what is your favorite superhero movie. Oh my goodness, that is a very difficult one for me. So in the MCU, Thor Ragnarok is close. I really loved Ant-Man. Like, I'm a huge fan of heist movies and I love Paul Rudd, so Ant-Man's up there. Michael Pena, man, I love me some Michael Pena. I can't wait to see Ant-Man and Wasp because I love the actress playing the Wasp, uh, the, the lady from uh, Lost. Big fan of hers. But Avengers Infinity Wars was so stinking good too. And put my foot down. It's close. It's either Thor Ragnarok or Ant-Man. Thor Ragnarok or Ant-Man. You know what? I'm going to go Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is my favorite. I loved Thor. I loved Wolverine. Uh, not Wolverine. Uh, big green guy. Hulk. Wow, how did I forget that? I love the rock guy. I loved uh, the dude that's Independence Day. Who my wife from Max I don't remember his name. So yeah, I'm going to go with Thor Ragnarok. Favorite superhero movie. But oh man, I'm forgetting the DCU. No, not the most recent DCU. But man, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. Oh, that's really hard. They're such different tones, man. MCU versus DCU. Yeah, it's either Dark Knight Rises. That's the one with uh, Heath Ledger. Even though I really did like the one with Bane, I really did like the one before that with uh, Ra's al Ghul, but I gotta go with that one versus Thor Ragnarok. And you know what? I, I gotta give it. I gotta give it to. Uh, I gotta give it to Batman. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Dark Knight Rises. That one right there. That was just such a well-made movie. But let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite superhero movie of all time? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. That's the company.